have a gentle mobility flow for you today that is perfect for really any time you're looking for some chill, feel good movement. Maybe it's an active recovery day for you. Maybe you're feeling a little sore and you just wanna kind of move things, shake the dust off, if you will. Um, this is, could also be a good one to do in the morning because we start from the ground and we make our way up to stand. So it is kind of a nice way to start your day, making your way to a more energized position. No equipment is needed. Uh, and like I said, we start down on the mat. So let's lay down. You wanna have your feet about as wide as your mat. And let's just flop our arms out, palms up to the ceiling in a nice wide T shape. We're gonna start by just windshield wiping the knees. So you're just gonna drop them to one side, drop them up and over to the other. <sighs> side to side, getting a little rotation, <sighs> twisting it out, mobilizing through the hips as well. We're open through the front of the chest. Give me four, three, two, one. Both knees up to the ceiling. Now let's keep our right foot planted and let's cross the left over the right. So we're in this figure four shape. You can keep your arms where they are. If you feel like you want more support, you can have them down by your side palms down. I just like keeping them wide though. So we're gonna do a little combo here. We're gonna start by lifting the hips up into a single leg bridge position. So as you exhale, I just want you to press the hips up and then I want you to lower them back down to the floor. Now we're gonna drop this whole shape over to the right until the left foot plants on the ground, so we're in this twist. And now let's take our left arm and you're gonna start sweeping it overhead and we are going to come into a side lying position on our right side, stacking our arms. Now let's just reverse it. We circle, sweep that left arm open, exhale, engage to the core, bring the shape back up into the figure four and let's do that hip bridge lift. Hips lift up and down keep going like that we drop the shape to the side we rotate through the upper body sweeping the arm overhead and we reverse it so i know this i said this would be gentle so you might be like what the heck why are we doing hip bridge work <laughs> i didn't want to work and yes we do have to fire through the glutes to lift those hips up but doesn't it feel so amazing to get that opening through the front of the hips when we lift them up like at the top of that bridge position, we get this nice opening through the hips. We're externally rotated. It feels good, even if we got to work a little bit for it, okay? One more time like this. And now we're going to switch the combo a little bit. So it's going to be this hip lift up and down. And then you're gonna exhale and you're gonna lift the shape up towards you, increasing the stretch for this outer left hip. So we just pick the right foot off of the mat into tabletop. We lower the foot down and we lift the hips up. Last time, lift the hips and lower, and now you're gonna pick up to that figure four tabletop shape and I want you to hold here. You can stay like this, or if you wanna wrap your hands around the back of this right thigh, that is an option up to you. We're just gonna straighten and bend through the right knee, pointing and bending. Foot goes up towards the ceiling, back to tabletop. Opening up to the back of the leg, continuing to get the stretch for this outer left hip. Give me four. Three, two, one. Let's lower the foot down, uncross the figure four shape. We're gonna do the same thing over to the other side. So now you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna cross it over the left. We start by lifting and lowering the hips. So exhale, hips lift up into the single leg bridge. Nice opening through the front of the hips. Lower the hips down. Now we're gonna drop the whole shape over to the left until your right foot plants on the floor. You're gonna take this right arm, you're gonna to start to circle it up and overhead until you come to lay on your side. Now let's just reverse it. Sweep the arm overhead, chest opens to the ceiling. Exhale, engage to the core, bring the shape upright through the lower body. Exhale, push those hips up towards the ceiling and lower, drop it to the side. Keep moving like this. I wore the wrong outfit to film a twisty class. It's like a little too low cut. <laughs> like, oh God.
Let's go through the combo one more time and then we will switch it. So we open up our chest, we square off the lower body, and now it's the bridge lift up and down with the hips, and then exhale to bring that left foot to tabletop. So lifting and lowering the left foot off the mat, and then lifting and lowering the hips. So when you lift the shape off the mat, you get that nice stretch through your outer right hip. One more, and then we'll hold in the tabletop position. So lift that left foot off of the mat. And then from here, we're just gonna open up to the back of the left leg, bending and straightening through the knee. If you wanna wrap your hands around the back of that left thigh, you can, or you can just keep the arms open. We're gonna press ourselves up into a seated position up next. Give me four, three, two, one, plant the foot on the ground, uncross the legs. We're gonna to roll to our left side. And we're gonna press ourselves up into the side position so that you are mirroring knee. So we're gonna find a 90-90 shape with the legs. So I want you to take your right knee and send it back. And then your left is going to be forward. So they're making these opposing 90 degree angles. I'm gonna to have to scoot forward. And we are propped up on our left arm, leaning to the side a little bit. So we are going to mobilize through this right hip as we twist through the upper body. So to start, I want you to reach this right arm forward, rotating your chest towards the floor. And as you do, you're going to pick your back right he he heel <laughs> off of the floor. So we find internal rotation. We just rotated the leg within the hip joint. Now let's do the opposite. You're gonna place the foot on the ground as we twist open to the right and we pick the knee off the ground so that we have this nice open position. We're finding external rotation in the hip joint and just keep moving like that. We twist internal rotation, foot picks up, and then knee picks up, bringing hand to the inside of the knee. Twice more. Last time, internal rotation. Open it up and I want you to pause in this open position and we're just gonna do a windshield wiper with the legs. So we're gonna drop both knees over to the right and then back over to the left. Hands are off the floor. Drop them to the right and to the left. Now, if this is feeling really sticky, lean back with your hands like this, okay? This is gonna be a little easier than having arms reaching forward. Give me just four more and then we'll do the other side. Three, two, one. So let's set up for the other side. So mirroring me, now your right hand is gonna be on the ground. We're gonna take this left leg and sweep it back your right leg is forward. We're open through the front of the hip to start, hand plants out so we have a slight diagonal with the torso. So your left arm is going to reach over to the right as we find internal rotation, pick the back foot off of the ground. And then we reverse it, we pick the knee off of the ground, we reach, hand comes to inside of knee. External rotation, internal rotation. Mobilizing within this hip joint. Keep moving slowly like this. Give me twice more. Last time. And you're gonna hold open. Maybe hands reach behind you. Maybe you reach both arms forward. Reaching arms forward is gonna be a little harder. Leaning back with hands on the floor a little easier. We windshield wiper side to side.
Ooh, I'm traveling across my mat. <laughs> Give me four, three, no space, two, and one. All right, now from here, we're gonna cross at the ankles and we're gonna come through into a tabletop position. So we're going to do a little work for our feet, okay? So I want you to start by tucking your toes under. You may just right away feel that nice stretch through the bottom of your foot, but we're gonna add on to it. I want you to push off the mat, rocking back, bum to your heels, and then just come to sit on your heels, putting in a little more of a stretch. And it can feel good to like go in with your fingers and really spread the toes out for this, okay? Now let's just rock forward. And let's do that a couple more times. Rock it back, bum to your heels. And you can just sit there putting some weight into them. And when you're ready, rock it forward. Now we're gonna do one more like this and then we're gonna alternate just flipping the feet, okay? So we'll rock back with the tops of our feet down and then with the toes tucked. So next time you rock forward, I want you to untuck your toes, put the tops of your feet down on the mat, rock back, sit your bum on your heels. So now we get a bit of a stretch through the top of that ankle. Rock it forward, tuck the toes shift back, bum to your heels. And we just alternate like that, rocking back and forward, tucking and untucking the toes. Now I want you to notice which feels better for you, which is the nicer stretch. Is it with the tops of your feet down on the mat or with your toes tucked? Whatever the answer is, you're going to maintain that foot position when we go into our next part, okay? So I want you to rock forward into tabletop and you pick. Do you want tops of your feet on the floor or do you want toes tucked? I'm gonna to do tops of my feet down. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna start the same. We're gonna rock back, bum to our heels. And this time we are going to take our right arm and we're gonna circle it up and back, planting our fingertips on the floor behind us. And now we're gonna lift our hips up, sweeping the other arm to the ceiling. Let's reverse it. Bum lowers to our heels. We circle the arm forward and we rock it forward into tabletop. Same thing, just other arm, rock it back. Circle the arm within the shoulder joint, tent the fingertips, lift the hips, sweep the arm back, and continue to alternate side to side. If you wanna take it for a test drive with your feet in the other position, feel free to. We are gonna do one more to either side. Last time, lift the hips, bum to heels, and we're gonna bring it back into a tabletop position. Now, from tabletop right away, instead of having hands right under shoulders, I want you to walk the hands forward about six inches. We're gonna to rock to a child's pose, rounding the spine up to the ceiling a little bit, armpits towards the floor, and then we're gonna rock forward, elongating the spine, but then coming into a little bit of extension. So I want you to lower the hips down, staying connected to your glutes so you don't just dump into your lower back, chest is open, gaze is forward. Now let's rock back to that child's pose, tuck your toes under, lift the hips up into a down dog, pressing the heels towards the floor. Knees come down to the mat, bum to your heels, and then rock it forward, finding that up dog position. And we're gonna keep flowing like that. So we shift it back to child's pose, tuck the toes. Lift the hips straight in the legs, heels to the floor, down dog. Knees to the mat, untuck the toes, bum to your heels. Rock it forward, coming into that upward dog position or that spinal extension. And rock it back, tucking the toes. Lift the hips up, down dog. Rock it forward, knees come down, bum to heels, untuck the toes. Take it forward to your up dog. This time when we come into our down dog, we're gonna stay there. So one more time, shift to child pose, tuck the toes. Lift the hips up and from here, just pedal out through those heels. We're pressing our chest towards our thighs, getting a nice opening there. 
Now I want you to settle in with both heels pressing towards the mat. And I want you to take your right leg, lift it up to the ceiling, bend the knee, and then peel open through that hip, kind of stacking your right hip on top of the left. That should feel so good. Just take a couple breaths here. Squaring off through the hips, return that foot to the mat. Same thing, other side. We lift our left leg up, bend the knee, peel the hip open, twisting open to the left. Press your chest towards your thigh. Let's square off through the hips. Both feet are down. And I want you to walk your hands in towards your feet, coming into a forward fold position. So in this forward fold position, just start pedaling out through the knees. And as you bend into one knee, dip that same shoulder towards it. So we're getting a little sway side to side. We're going to take this swaying motion a little bigger up next in four, three, two, one. Now I want you to separate your feet. So just heel toe them out nice and wide. And then I want you to grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. Unlock through the knees, just soften through them. And now we're going to make that sway a little bigger. You're going to rock side to side, getting a little bit of release, waking things up if you are doing this in the morning time. Give me four, three, two, let it go, one. I want you to settle in center, bring your fingertips to the mat. Let's heel toe our feet back in about hips distance apart. Now vertebrae by vertebrae, we're gonna roll it up to stand. And at the top, I want you to shrug your shoulders up to your ears and then circle them back, opening up through the chest. Now let's reverse that shoulder circle. Shrug them up and forward and then round through the spine, coming back into your forward fold. We roll it up to stand, circle the shoulders up and back, and reverse it, roll them forward, knob the chin, come into your forward fold. Last time, we're gonna roll it up, we're gonna circle those shoulders open, we're gonna stay standing, let's just take a couple deep breaths to finish. I know my head might be cut off, but that's okay. <laughs> Inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up. Exhale, you're gonna let them go. One more time, inhale, sweep them up, stretch, grow tall. And exhale, release. And that is your class. I hope you're feeling good after that. I know I am. If you're looking for more similar mobility classes, I have a bunch on my channel. I have a playlist and a page linked below in the video description. Thanks for moving with me today and I will see you next time. <laughs>